Okay then everyone, and welcome to the latest Is It Worth It? And today we will be looking at Super Castlevania. Also known as Super Castlevania 4. And um, let me just start by saying, this is the best Castlevania game. I'm sorry, but it is. It is absolutely fantastic. And one of the reasons it's so good is this soundtrack is incredible. Now don't get me wrong, Castlevania Symphony of the, 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 the Castlevania Symphony of the Night is a fantastic game. And it has a fantastic soundtrack. And it kickstarted the whole Metroidvania bollocks that everybody um, likes to refer to it now. But this is wonderful. It's absolutely brilliant. And the music is stunning. I mean, listen to it. This is a SNES doing this. I've got this soundtrack on vinyl and it is absolutely magnificent. But anyway, let's get into the actual game and um, you'll see why it's so highly regarded. So we'll simply start off from the beginning and we won't worry about all of this. You can obviously use um, password saves to get further into the game. And um, oh, it's, it's wonderful. It's essentially, it's essentially a remake of the original Castlevania for the NES, and um, it has enhancements to take advantage of the Super Nintendo. And um, I would like to say the um, Japanese um, developer's name, um, the main programmer was also the uh, director. And um, however, I probably would butcher his name, so I will, I will leave it. But suffice to say, this was his first, this was his first actual 16-bit game. And um, I, I think he knocked it out of the park. Now, one of the things that's quite interesting about the game, um, I, I find it interesting anyway, is that it's quite it's quite an ugly looking game when you first play it. It's got some very very garish color schemes, and um, it doesn't the the early levels don't really seem to gel together very well. But as you get further into the game. The, the actual visuals really step up a notch and um, you know I, I'm, I'm not going to turn around and say it's one of the best looking SNES games ever but it's it gets very very impressive and that's that's largely due to some of the really cool mode 7 effects that get pulled off I mean listen listen to the music the music is amazing so so good so it's it's kind of very much like the early Castlevania games and that there are secrets that you can find, as you've just seen, I've found one there, and um, you just basically get through the level and kill all the monsters along the way, and you will um, occasionally be faced by sub-bosses or bosses, and you take them down, you get the orb, you move on to the next level, and Bob's your auntie's living lover. You've got the same issues as well, where you take a hit and you're getting knocked backwards. Now, that can kill you if um, if you're not careful because you can not get knocked completely off ledges. One of the cool things you can do here is um, moonwalk, which um, I completely messed up. But you can basically walk backwards on some of the levels. So, this, this version of the game, version of the game, this remake, as it were, introduces things like the ability to sw swing on as you can see there, and you can also, you can completely manipulate your rope, which is um, something that you couldn't do in previous games. And it's not a rope, it's clearly a whip. The vampire killer, in fact. And um, and that's that's all there is to the game in terms of mechanics. It doesn't, doesn't really bring a lot to the table. But um, it really doesn't need to because everything about it is so solid. The, um, the controls are sharp and incredibly um, precise. You never feel like when you make a mess up that it's the game. It's, it's always your fault because you're crap. The, the visuals, like I said, get massively improved the further you get into the game. And that soundtrack, the soundtrack is phenomenal. You can't hear it here, but it's, it's actually passed over from one speaker to the next. And um, yeah, it's, it's got great use of stereo throughout. Really weird. 
bosses there, um, enemies there. There's some disembodied horse heads. And um, look, I think we've got a little moth on the um, a little moth on the screen, so you can have that one for free. Come on, moth, off you go. Right, he doesn't want to go, and I'm obviously not gonna, I'm not gonna kill the moth. So you will just have to endure a little moth, and it kind of works because you know Castlevania's got a horror theme, and some people find mosses pretty horrific. So it works out quite nicely. So you've probably seen there that I picked up a special weapon, which was a clock which freezes time. Now you want to be careful with these things that I just stepped over because if you jump onto them, they will flip around and you can um, you can basically fall through this floor and die. And nobody wants to fall through the floor and die. Right, so we'll be coming up to a, a mid-level boss shortly. Um, I'll get that up. Ah, I'm trying to do the moonwalking. Ah, oh, look at that. Skills. I meant to do that. So here's your first um, little boss. And again, a lot of these are relatively straightforward. So just chuck loads of daggers into them. And with any luck, I'll be able to call, show you the um, what happens when you get to the end of a stage. There's a really cool map effect. There we go. Oh, we are at the end of the stage, so look at that. I was thinking that it was the um, skeleton with the long tongue, but I was mistaken. So, this game here is absolutely fantastic little map. Um, we did a director's commentary on this uh, once where because uh, we covered the game in the mag and basically the director pointed out different stages and what was cool about them, which was pretty good. But again, um, I, I want to say that's mode 7 because it seems to have scaling. I'm not, I'm not too hot on my um, SNES stuff so um, somebody can obviously let me know in the credits if I completely mess it up. I get really brooding music here. Take these, and can you see see what I mean about the um the color palette? Palette just feels a bit garish. There's a lot of like weird sickly purples, and the greens feel off color. I don't know if that's intentional. Um, I don't think it is. I just think, uh, like I said, I think it's poor poor use of the Snezzer's color palette. But things do improve massively once you get to Dracula's castle. Have these little guys. So this is going up in price. Um, the PAL version is fairly expensive. I mean, they all, all the versions now go past re um, the original retail price, and um, I think I think the Japanese one is cheapest. I've seen it lately for around the 60, 60 quid mark complete. Obviously if you want to get a cartridge it's not going to cost you anywhere near as much money. And um, you know some people are, are quite fine with cartridge only. Um, I wish I could be one of those people but I'm not. I, I have to have everything complete. Um, another alternative is obviously you can pick up a SNES Mini because it's um, one of the included games on there and then there's 21 other games to um, endure as well. So that's another option. But um, to be honest with you if, you, if you can, if you can stretch to the money that it goes for, I would recommend picking this up because it is absolutely brilliant. It's, um, it's easily my favorite Castlevania game, as I've mentioned. It's arguably one of the best adventure games on the SNES of its era, in fact. And um, I can wholeheartedly recommend it. It's just really, really good. 
Now, um, one of the things with the SNES one that you probably would have noticed there is there are little bits of slowdown. Interestingly, from um, if my memory is correct, the um, the slowdown um, in the PAL version is nowhere near as um, rampant, but obviously the PAL version generally runs more poorly anyway. So um, I would definitely put up put up with the um, NTSC one. Because in general, the whole thing just runs smoother and um, the slowdown doesn't really have that much of an impact on the actual game. So, um, so this has been Super Castlevania 4. Hopefully, it will give you a good indication of why I think the game is ace and why you should um, seek out the game. I mean, for no other reason, um, even if you just go onto YouTube now and just listen to the soundtrack, because it's you know it, this this is a snes and it sounds absolutely brilliant so um even if you do that tonight check out the soundtrack and um enjoy one of the best sound in castlevania games you're ever likely to ever hear so this has been retro gamer daz if you have enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification button on the right below this video um, apologies for the lack of videos, um, basically I got a new PC and I've been really enjoying that so I might even do some retro PC games on it at a later date, you can see the slowdown there. So um, that's it from me, this has been Retro Gamer Daz, this has been Super Castlevania and um, you can decide for yourself if it's worth it but really, I really think it's something that you need to add to your collection. Take care everyone. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.